EPA and Dubois Meteorologist Bobby Martins here with your Outlook for August 12th, 2022. It is Friday, end of the work week, and the Friday video forecast is proudly sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall's is a family-owned and operated business operating in two locations in the Lehigh Valley, their original Southside Allentown location, located at 102 East Susquehanna Street, which is open seven days a week. It features a full food menu, 17 different beers to choose from, local wine and cocktails, and their newest location, McCall Collective Tap House in Trexler Town, located at 7743 Hamilton Boulevard. You can find 10 beers on draft along with a house smoked barbecue menu that is open six days a week. For more information or to place online orders, visit their website, McCallCollectiveBrewing.com. Proud sponsors of the Friday video forecast. Spectacular weather over the next couple of days. There's no other way to say it. And we have... Uh, we're looking at, uh, actually, I have, this is moving ahead to Monday on the GFS. We'll get to that in here in a second. Uh, we're going back to this weekend, though. We have uh, mostly sunny skies expected both Friday and Saturday, and then we're we'll it partly cloudy on Sunday. But temperatures are going to be very similar each day, maybe a slight bump up by a degree or two on Sunday, but looking at a 76 to 82 degree range with low humidity over the next two days and mostly sunny skies. So you can't really ask for better than that, uh, especially in August and especially after we just had... Uh, a couple of long stretches of, of uh, extended heat and humidity, and um, um, most many of us will be happy to see this go, uh, at least temporarily. Uh, but I do think this is going to actually s extend for about 10 days or so for this uh, period of cooler temperatures. It should go to about the 20th, and we after that point, get a couple of days near normal, uh, as I explained in yesterday's video. So nothing going on this weekend. What I do want to focus on is this upper-level low on Monday. Uh, all three models I'm going to show you, which are the... Uh, three biggest ones. We have the, uh, the the European model, which is shown here. We have the GFS, and we have the NAM, which is now in its outermost range, kind of all showing the same thing, which is good from a forecasting standpoint. Uh, but it's if you have any plans outdoors Monday or Tuesday, uh, you will get some rain, it looks like, some showers rotating through the region. Now, this is not going to be a deluge, and we don't really need a deluge. We just need a slow, steady soaker, right? So uh, nothing is going to produce a tremendous amount of rain but we will have the opportunity to alleviate some of the drought concerns across the region. So we had uh, Music Fest dry so far for the first eight days of the festival. Uh, today's day nine. We have days 10 and 11 this weekend. No issues there whatsoever, so it's going to end as a fantastic stretch of weather. So now we can bring the rain back in because uh, there's no concerns from our, our clients. Uh, Phillies are on the road uh, this weekend and uh, early, and at least early next week, so we have... Uh, we don't have to worry about the weather here. But here's this upper level. There's an upper level low that is causing this. And there's a surface low that's going to form with this. So here's the showers on Monday. Uh, and it might uh, go through about Monday evening or maybe continue intermittently overnight. And then Tuesday, we have more scattered showers across the region as this is still in the area. So this upper level low influence is going to keep the showers in the forecast. Monday uh, is the best chance. And then Tuesday, still a pretty good chance to see some scattered showers here uh, as this uh, low kind of pivots offshore. The European model, though, however, is bringing this out of here pretty quick. Here's the area low pressure surface low associated with the upper level low moving out of our region here on Wednesday. So that means, a uh, at least from the European model standpoint, this will be out of here. We'll, we had, as I talked about yesterday, it was a possibility from early to the middle part of next week. It might be out of here after Tuesday. And these upper level lows usually kind of, uh, you know, tend to do that. They just kind of dissipate after a while. And then uh, by the time we get to Thursday, we are partly cloudy on the European model. GFS doing the same thing. Here's on Monday. You get the scattered showers on Monday throughout the region. Again, not a deluge of rain, but it's, uh, it's showers, and we need it, okay? Uh, so we'll take what we can get. And then this goes into Monday night and Tuesday. This hits and pivots. This even continues into Wednesday for at least parts of the area. So that I don't want to eliminate the possibility that Wednesday is going to have showers also. Uh, but this does move this out of here by Thursday. So this lifts off to the north, and we're back to partly cloudy skies there. Uh, NAM is at its hour limits, and uh, it does have the same upper-level low and the showers coming in uh, at max range by Monday morning. So you can see that here. This runs out of range here at hour 84. Uh, but they're all doing the same general idea. They're going to have showers finally, a cloudy day, and... Um, on and off showers throughout the day here on Monday. And the same thing it looks like for Tuesday at the very least, maybe Wednesday. Well, something that we're going to continue to follow over the next couple of days. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's looking like we're going to get some drought relief, which is which some pretty good news. And the temperatures are going to stay uh, cooler than average. Uh, with that upper-level low influence on Monday and Tuesday, you're probably not getting out of the 70s in a lot of areas, okay, for high temperatures. And then we get back into kind of like we are now, like 80, 82-ish 
for highs in the Wednesday, Thursday time frame is that upper level low and surface low moves away. But again, I do expect that it's going to remain at least slightly below average and through next Saturday. And then we might just get back to normal after that point. I'm EPA, WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for August 12, 2022. Have a great Friday.